Also in Indonesia, conservationists are working to preserve China's potiki puppet. In Indonesia, it's almost becoming a forgotten art form, but a new traveling van show aims to bring it back to life by educating the younger generation on the cultural significance of this traditional art. CGTN Silkina Alawali reports from Jakarta. It's a beloved art form that dates back to 16th century China, but it's at risk of fading. These performers are bringing it back to life in a traveling van. Gopat, short for Gopotehi, travels to various regions across Indonesia. It was founded in October 2020 by a few conservationists, one of them, Budi Harson. We want to introduce and preserve Patehi puppets. Now it's mostly performed in temples, but we would like it to be popular in other events as well, such as company events, birthing ceremonies, and birthday parties. The van began its journey in central Java, but is now making its way to west Java. The road trip is around eight hours and counting, but Budi's community is determined and passionate about reintroducing Potehi to the younger generation across the nation. Experts say that's the only way to keep this art alive. Without these shows, it would have been extinct years ago. Performing it in temples have been keeping it alive all this time, but we hope this new platform will help as well. Attending a potehi performance can be expensive in Indonesia, costing as high as 1,000 U.S. dollars. Gopat aims to close that gap, providing affordable shows anywhere using simple props. This is my first time watching a performance live. I hope it will not fade away and the younger generation start to care more about the art form because it will be a loss if we lose this art. Potehi Puppet not only serves as a form of entertainment in Indonesia, but the art has become an important symbol of harmony and diversity in the country. Sulkina Alawalia, CGTN, Jakarta.